Hello folks, I'm going to demonstrate here a calcium EDTA titration just like um, would be specified in our quantitative analysis lab. So let me quickly show you the experimental setup here. I've got a couple of burettes set up here. The one on the left here contains the um, calcium aqueous unknown. Um, so for this particular trial I have actually measured some of that out and what I have here for this trial is um, an initial volume of 0.25 milliliters of that solution and then I ended at 20.45 milliliters of the solution. So that's actually what I have in the Erlenmeyer flask right here. And I've also added um, two milliliters of the very stinky ammonia, ammonium chloride buffer to that. So that's already been done. So at this point I'm going to set the camera up here close by so you can see the titration. And I'm going to go ahead and add the last couple of reagents that we have to put in. So the next thing I'm going to put in is going to be five drops of the area chrome black tea indicator. As you can see here, that's a very pretty red solution. And there's a fifth drop, just in case. All right, so I'm going to stir that up. We can see what that looks like looks like sort of a nice um, bright pink or reddish pink solution there. And then the next thing we're supposed to add is 10 drops of the uh, magnesium EDTA solution. So that turns out to be about a dropper full, but we'll go ahead and count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll get that last one, 10. There we go. All right, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and shake this up nicely, make sure we're in good shape. So now what I need to do is get an initial volume on this burette, which I'll quickly do. So I have a paper towel here and I can read it. So it looks like I'm right at 0, 0.00 on the burette. All right, so now we're going to begin the titration. The nice thing about this is that we can add the um, titrant pretty quickly. Um, initially, I found that um, in the last titration that I did, I added about 15 and change milliliters to this. So I'm using a little bit bigger volume this time. So I know I can put about 15 milliliters of titrant in pretty quickly and then sneak up on the end point. So let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the burette just up a tad. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding the titrant fairly quickly. Now at this point, I just want to swirl. And I'm going to keep my eye on the burette to make sure I'm not putting more than about 15 milliliters of the titrant in. Because then we're going to slow the titration down after that and make sure we can sneak up on that end point. So, so far you really don't see much of a change or any change in color and that's to be expected. Now what we're looking for, again, to remind ourselves, is we want to see a transition from this pinkish color, reddish pink, um, through a purple, and then ultimately to almost a sky blue. So that's what we're trying to get in this titration. So we're going to come down to about 15 and a half mils, and then we're going to sneak up from there. We have a little bit of ways to go yet. Okay, we're almost there. Go to about 15 and a half here. There we are. All right, so we'll just take a quick assessment of our color at this point. Now you'll notice that the color seems to be maybe just a little bit darker, so I may be approaching the purple, but I still have a little ways to go. So we'll go sort of drop wise or a few drops at a time at this point. So I'm going to set my burette up to slowly deliver a drop or two at a time. And then we have to also keep in mind that the reaction tends to be kind of slow at the end point. So we want to make sure that we have time for each drop to react before we add another. So that's why I have a very, very slow drop going here. Okay, and when I see that purple start to develop, I'm going to stop. Okay, it looks like I'm about there. Okay, you can actually see that change now that I've gone almost from a pink to more of a purple. So it's a little darker yet, so I'm really going to slow down and go dropwise at this point and see where we end up. There's a drop, so let's see how we look. Perhaps a little bit darker, a 
We're pretty close at this point. I see more purple in there now than I did before. So maybe another drop or two should do it. There we go. Ah, you can nicely see that purple and we'll catch that last little bit that went in. Oh, there's the blue. All right, so that's what a good endpoint looks like. We've seen how we've gone through the um, reddish pink through the purple now to what looks like almost a sky blue. So I'm gonna get that last um, burette reading here. And it looks like I'm at 16.20 exactly. So I've recorded that value. So at this point, this is what the um, titration is going to look like. So I'm going to end up feeding you data for all four of the titrations that I did so that we can then work them up. So that's something to do for another class period.